urn holding the remains of a young man is now the center of a mystery in Dallas County. Yeah, for 34 years, no one has been able to figure out his identity. KCCI's Laura Terrell shows us the new mission now underway to find his family. Tucked in the back of the Oakdale Cemetery in Adele is the Dallas County Medical Examiner's mausoleum of unclaimed remains. Five names are listed, but no one knew a sixth urn was inside until now. We found this urn and it had a letter attached to it and it told the story of a young man who was hit and killed by a car. Lene Strovers works full time at Hamilton Funeral Home, but in her free time, she's on a mission to make sure no urn sits on a shelf without a name. We need to give closure to a family out there. The only clue inside this mysterious urn is this letter from the first responder named Joseph Bray. Bray describes how he tried to save the young man. He estimated to be in his late teens, early 20s. He had red hair, blue eyes. He was Caucasian, about six foot tall, 160 pounds. The clothing that he was wearing that night was black shoes, gray pants, a button down shirt and a blue sweater. The date was October 19th, 1987. The young man was hit by a westbound car here along I-80, exit 115 near Van Meter. The person who hit him said that he had walked out of the median and looked like he was waving someone down. Now, whether that was waving someone down to hitchhike or for help, we don't know that. For 34 years, no one has claimed this young man, something that Bray wrote haunted him and his wife for years. I think at the time of his death, I think there were some things that didn't happen that probably should have happened. You know, the technology wasn't there for DNA or for fingerprints. We also didn't have social media. The Dallas County Medical Examiner's Office now wants to make sure this never happens again. Moving forward is I want to make sure that if we're having these, we have an inventory of them. We know who they are, where they were cremated, any type of Mexican that we may have tried to get a hold of and the story behind it. They hope to solve this decades long mystery with your help. Any info might lead to learning this young man's name. He got his name taken away from him when he died. And so if we can give him his name back, that would be amazing. In Dallas County, Laura Terrell, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader. Strovers has tried to track down the first responder, but believes that he moved out of state and has since died. If you have any information, call the Dallas County Medical Examiner's Office.